Hi, another haunted story, my own experience, okay? I was in Las Vegas, I was staying in this 5-star hotel and it was a work trip. I was given this room with two queen-size bed, two. And I used one of the beds, okay? The, right, the one inside here, okay? Just next to the reflective window, it's a full height window. And this bed that I didn't use, I used it to place my luggage and clothes. So uh, every 3 a.m. right, I my aircon was switched off by itself. So I have to wake up at 3 a.m. to turn on the aircon. So I thought maybe it could be the timer. That's fine. So remember I said that this bed was next to a full height uh, reflective window. If I don't draw the curtain, I like to open it up so I can see the scenery. So from that reflection, I can I could see, you know, when I was like lying on a bed and from the, the glass panel itself, I can see a shadow. Uh, walking very fast past the main door here so my bed was diagonally looking at the main door but from my glass panel I could see a shadow so I was thinking maybe it was some jet lag okay maybe I was not sleeping well yes I just see things so I just ignore it and then the third thing was the TV that was mounted just in front of the two beds right it was mounted like very straight facing us the angle was like that landscape like this ipad right so sudden not this ipad this pad and and suddenly um i, I realized that the the tv itself was facing to like that it was tilted like that you know the the tv was mounted on the wall but it can be tilted left and right so it was tilted to this bed uh this empty bed where i put my luggages and uh clothes so I thought maybe it could be the cleaner, that's fine. But there was one day I couldn't take it anymore because uh, I think it's about 1 to 2 a.m. So in the toilet, it's, I didn't, I off everything. I on the side light. The toilet light I didn't off, but I closed the door. But I can see lights, you know, because the door is like with stripes. You can see lights coming out from this toilet, okay? I turn it on and I could hear something so real it was like as if somebody was in the toilet itself i could hear um my skincare products okay i'm taking this as an example okay it was very quiet at 2 a.m i could hear like <gasps> someone was playing with my skincare product and then i was thinking maybe i hear something like from my neighbor or what they are using a product somewhere and then the next thing i heard was i have this cosmetic pouch right just this size, I place it inside the toilet basin on top of a dry area. I heard someone open the zip, open zzz, 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 the zip of the cosmetic pouch, you know. So the moment I heard this, and the zip, oh my god, I couldn't take it anymore. It was so real as if someone was using the toilet. But when I look at the toilet, there was no shadow because as I mentioned, there's straps, right? I could, if there's someone inside, I could see shadow. So I quickly, you know, my phone was at the side of my bed. I quickly called my, uh, my best friend. Uh, she was my colleague, also. She's, she's also one of my best friends. And I called her and said, hey, can I come over? Luckily, she answered my call because it's already 2 a.m. And I went over and I slept. She has two queen size bed too. So I slept the empty bed just beside her. So the next morning, right, um, we, ah, that's my best night ever. I had a very good sleep. Not the next morning, sorry. So when we came back to Singapore, okay, from Las Vegas to Singapore that very day, she told me that her cross was broken. So can you imagine how eerie that was? <sighs> and there are so many scary experiences there. Uh, more about it again thank you bye have a good day